Dusty, first time you met Dusty. I think I met him in when I went to Florida the first time. I think it was in the 70, 76, 77. I mean, that's more, that's before a lot of these people that are listening to this podcast were born. But I went down there and I didn't wrestle him much. I, I remember wrestling one time on TV, which was nothing but a, 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 a three minute uh, display of uh, Dusty's elbows on top of my head and him punching me and, and doing this and, you know, uh, uh, and doing the Dusty stuff, which was over. Of course, I was young in the business and, of course, I was selling everything. And, but I never worked with Dusty, maybe that one time. Really? No, because this is why. See, Dusty, when he would go to the house shows, he was always the main event, always. I was usually the second match, or no more than the third match most times. I was a preliminary match because I was young in the business. That's where I should be. I should be going on early, getting experience, watching the, the masters at work later on. And one reason Dusty was over, and we talked about this earlier. I talk about uh, Nakamura mm -hmm. needs to take a break because he got old. Dusty never got old. This is when I first realized that staying off TV can work for you. And the reason Dusty would stay off TV, because if he was on TV too much, he'd wear out his welcome. He made the people buy a ticket to actually see him wrestle the same way Hulk Hogan, Vince had Hulk Hogan do back in the Hogan years. You never saw Hogan on TV. That's it was a pay-per-view. But you always had to pay to see Hogan because he was, he was special. Dusty was special in Florida. So if he had a TV match, which I don't remember him having the whole time I was there, it would actually mean something. And that was the first time I saw less is more. Mm -hmm. And he worked it to a T because Dusty could go out on an interview. And this is an old saying in wrestling. You talk them into the building, you talk them in. And that's what Dusty did because he, he was, he, he was over really, really over. Onky Tonk Man uh, very famously publicly claimed that those elbows really hurt when he dropped them on your head. Did you find that as well? Well, yeah, he's kind of stiff. But, hey, I, but I don't mind that. The Honky Tonk Man, when you talk about him saying that it hurt, you couldn't touch Honky Tonk Man. <laughs> honky Tonk Man, you got to... He'd say, you pull his hair, hey, easy on the wig, easy on the wig. He didn't have a wig. That's what he would say. Austin Idol, too. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they would beg off before you hit them. <laughs> but, but I can see Wayne doing that. Wayne was my partner in Puerto Rico for, yeah. for, for about six months. I love that guy. We need to have Honky on. Uh, he recently did uh, a podcast with Dan Seven. So we, he's out there. He's doing a show here and there. So we've got to have him on. Yeah, we'll have him on. 